Being strong and not showing that something is wrong with you is a big part of Southern culture. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Amarelle? I hear people outside. I want to be outside with them. Well, you can't. How are you doing, Sassy? I'm just going to lay here. And Riddler is downstairs somewhere. So, I am not doing good. I will be honest. Oh my gosh, the lighting is really bright through the window. To the window, to the wall. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be completely real with you guys here. This is something I don't point out a lot. Either A, I don't want to trigger anybody, or B, I don't want to sound like a victim. Like I'm tr playing myself as a victim, because I'm not trying to. But something that's been going on in my mind all day today. So last night, a friend got on to me for something that I did that hurt her feelings. Which, I mean, that's perfectly fine. I'll, like, she had good reason, and I, it was something I did wrong, and of course I apologized for it, and there you go. And, like, every time, if I do something wrong, I apologize, and I try to fix it as best I can. However, well, someone talked outside, there goes him, bye. However, my brain tells me it's not over. That even though I have fixed up or at least I've apologized and tried to fix everything as much as I can, my brain still tells me that you inflicted emotional pain on somebody. So you need to inflict physical pain on yourself to match that. And I don't like telling people about it because I don't want people to be like, oh my gosh, you're just doing this to be a victim and try to turn the situation on you. I'm really not. Like... I don't know, this is something I do a lot. Like, if I've upset anybody, and I know about it, my brain will not stop thinking, you need to hurt yourself, you need to punish yourself for what you did. Um, it makes me think of something one of my college professors told me. I think it was my, uh, probably my junior year, sophomore, junior year, somewhere in there. Um, where he was like, you tend to draw negative energy towards you. Which I don't know why. <laughs> but now I notice it. I'm like, you know, if anybody's upset around me, I'm trying to make everyone feel better. Which I know is not my responsibility, but this says so. Especially if I hurt someone's feelings, I feel like I have to take on that pain they had and inflict it on myself, maybe even more than that, to be like, you need to stop. So... There you go, very positive vlog with Raven today after like three days. Now you get to know this. Hooray! And I know, that is the most healthiest coping mechanism in the world. Not really. Um, but I honestly don't know how to stop it. Like, I will take in negative feelings and like try to make everybody else happy around me and absorb all this negative feeling to myself, but I don't know how to clear it out of myself, so... I'm such a mentally healthy individual. Hey guys! So, guess who didn't record the rest of the day? Me! <laughs> um, what else did I do today? Sweated to death. It became 75 degrees inside and I'm like, I'm dead. Plus, it's humid outside because it stormed yesterday, so, ugh. Welcome to Georgia weather. It sucks. And it probably won't get cool until, like, freaking January. Because Georgia weather is weird. We literally had... A 70 degree Christmas last year. 70 degrees. That should not have happened. Um, but yeah, otherwise I've trained with Emerald a little bit, which I am so proud of him that despite me not having worked him in a while. Oh, my phone just died. Okay. Despite me not working with him in a while, he did so good. And then I just did random things, seeing how he'd respond, and he responds to them appropriately, so I got a good boy. And now I'm trying to teach him to take toys and then give them to me. 
because I once had him trained to do get it, bring it, but he's decided he doesn't remember what it is, so he won't do it. Lame. Um, I also went to the store today. I actually got out of the house. Went to get some. I went to get tortilla chips and caffeine. Ended up with tortilla chips, caffeine, queso, salsa, and ice cream. So great combination. Hooray! Um, but yeah, there was a topic that I had in mind that, um, ah, my arm was getting tired, that I thought about, it was Saturday, I think, I was in Tractor Supply working, and there was this song that came on, because of course Tractor Supply plays all country music all the time, talking about how, like, you need to remain strong even when you want to break down. And it really made me think that, um, anyways, so, I've realized, like, being strong and not showing that something is wrong with you is a big part of Southern culture. For those of you who don't know, I live in Georgia, which is in the south of the United States. There is a Georgia country near Russia, but that's not where I am. Um, a lot of people don't think I'm from the south because I don't have a drawl. I just wasn't raised that way. <laughs> my dad kind of has one, my mom doesn't, and my brother and I don't, so whatever. Um, but, like, you can hear it through songs, like country songs, and through reading stuff about the South, and just, you know, word of mouth, that in the South you always must have a front. You always have to look a certain way around people. You can't let people know that there's something going on that's wrong. Like the whole white picket fence thing, if you guys have ever heard of that imagery. Okay, my phone was being weird again. Um, or like you have the perfect white picket fence and everything looks perfect on the outside. That is the southern culture. That is how we are raised to be. Is to not show... Sorry, my phone is being all buzzy is to not show if anything's going on, like if you have any family problems or if you have mental illness or anything. Like if there's someone in your family with mental illness, then they're usually just referred to as, you know, that one weird relative um, that's not really talked about. Um, this isn't for every southern state, I don't think, but this is something that's a part of southern culture. And yes, the South has its own culture, believe it or not. <laughs> For example, biscuits and gravy, my friends. Um, but yeah, there's always this, you need to make yourself presentable. For ladies, you need to, you know, put on makeup. You need to keep yourself together. You, you're not allowed to break down and cry over, say, a breakup or something. That I got from Mama's Broken Heart from Miranda Lambert. Good song. You guys should check it out. So, it really got me thinking, you know, of course, being mentally ill, you put up a front all the time, and then add on the pressures from society of being, of showing that you have to pretend nothing is wrong at all, even when you're in the midst of a breakdown, or if you're, like, wanting to jump out of a window, or you're having a panic attack, you have to look on the outside like nothing's going on. Fake smiles, everybody. Um, and I mean, this is probably relevant for all countries, but I've just noticed it's especially prevalent in the South. And to keep up that look, you have to have a certain look in public. Like, literally, you can go from your mama yelling at you about something one minute to as soon as you pull up into church, she, it's like flipping a switch, and she becomes a completely different person. Because you can't show anybody that you're that you have to yell at your kids or anything. So I guess that's a kind of hard part also is putting in that southern culture factor that you have to keep that front while you're already having to do that with mental illness. Some places I think are more open to mental illness so like in the south I guess it's more taboo to open up about it. Like I've opened up to my family obviously about my mental illness Pretty much, my parents are the only ones who aren't that supportive. Everybody else is fine. Um, 
I've been told to like pray it away and that you need more Jesus. And I'm like, uh, you can't fix DNA. That's not how that works. Because, you know, in my case, my anxiety and depression is biological, it is in my DNA, and I can't change that. Not for everybody, but for a lot of people, that's the reason. So, um, yeah, that's just been on my mind, and I probably, again, sound like I'm repeating myself over and over. But that's the point. <laughs> um, and I guess that's also why, even to you guys, if you ask me if I'm okay, I'm gonna lie to you, usually. Sometimes I am actually doing great, but most of the time I'm lying to you. Because I need to keep up a front. I know I don't have to, but I feel like I do, so... Yay! <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, put in the comments your opinion about the Southern culture with a front. If you're from the South, give your opinions of it. If you're not from the South, is the Southern culture, like what I'm describing, effective in your area? So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!